the virtuous woman. Now, if you look at it in a, from the dictionary word, it means morally excellent and upright. I think in a very simple manner. Morally excellent and upright. Read from verse 10 to 12 of that Proverbs chapter 31, verse 2, 10, 11, and 12. Are we there? Shall we rise? Do, let's do it the way we normally do. He said, Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband doeth safely trust in her. Trust, trust, so that he shall have no need of spoil. Then verse 12, finally, can we read it together? She will do him good and not evil all the days. Read that verse 12 again. She will do him. Lord, interpret this word. Help us to understand it. And above all, make us the doer, not the hearers alone. In Jesus' name. Put amen that carry grace. Now sit down. Now the message of that Proverbs 31 started from verse 10 and ended in 31. Which is the last verse. Chapter 31 of Proverbs ended with 31 verses. Is it not <laughs> interesting? Now, how do I describe the virtuous woman? Now, let's, let me still take one to look at verse 11. He said, The heart of her husband doeth what? Safely trust in her. So she should have. Have no need for of spoil. Now, this is one of the key in that marriage. And I believe every youth here, I'm saying this, you who have not married, I told them in the youth, when you are about to marry a young boy as a young girl, or as a young girl, a, a young man, two of you are in courtship and he doesn't trust you, run away. There is no marriage there. It won't last. The key that holds marriage is what? Trust. And if you are a woman who never trusts your husband, you believe anywhere I go, if they smell land, they go. You go quick die. I'm telling you the truth. Nobody be saying that course, so you will not go feel last for that marriage. What keeps you in that home? Trust. What you can do is still what you can do. You can't do what you can't do. Don't carry load that you cannot handle. Are you hear what I'm saying? And you as a young girl here, let me talk to you a little bit, then I give you the seven point. You, you want, somebody engage you. Something happened in this church some time ago. A young boy engaged a young girl. And if you see anybody which the girl greets, you go ask, and who is that? Now I call the girl before the boy, I say, Run, this man is a fool. I think I do bad work, right? I look at him and ask him, say, can you pay school fees? I don't look you finish. You want marry. She agreed for you to marry her. Now you want to turn to God over her life. You never even pay that. You. When are you paying that? He said, not now. And if they take authority over her. Anybody will pass. He go carry her phone, smash it. Who you answer call now? I was calling you. You are laughing and you answer. I say, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This one has slavery. Now you want to enter. No be married. You. Now I call her. I say, run, run, run. The boy said, no, I will change. I said, no, go change first. Come back. Praise God. Marriage is built on what? Trust. You must believe who you are. If, that's why God must lead you. If God led you, go ahead. And check any man who don't believe in wife or any woman who don't believe in husband. That marriage, till Jesus come, he get quite shock up. Because if the man no trust you, no trust you. Even if you cut your hand, he no go trust you. But when that trust is there, I'm telling you things. And stand by the word of God. I pray for you, may you never deviate. 
And please, women, please, what makes you a mother is not because you have children. It's your character. I want to show you the qualities of a virtuous woman. Number one, she is trustworthy. Her husband trusts her. Some men will tell you, say, I know my wife. Now, hear this. The real thing about marriage is this, to the man and to the woman, when you marry your partner, study him like book. Am I talking? There are homes you enter, the man won't talk to the wife with mouth, he use eye. And they don't talk, finish. And this is matured home. I hear what I'm saying. Because when you trust your partner, you study her. Or study him. Because man, they study wife. And when you study your wife, there are things you hear about your wife, you'll be able to know whether it's true or not because you know her. But there are some men who have lived with their wife. If it, that thing you go tell you, no, 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 that she know they can betray you at any time. There must be trust. As I'm talking to you as a woman, I'm also talking to your husband. If you hear me, say, I hear you. So if you look at that verse 11, I think that's what we read. He said, they are, they are, she trusts her. She, the man has trust in the woman. Point two, she is fruitful. Oh, very, very important. She is what? A vital woman. Get it clear. Get the seven point. That is what it means. You Nobody know, say they come church. No. She is trustworthy. Number two, she is fruitful or industrious, hardworking. If your husband had been doing, making it before you came, you are there to add to it. Thank God our economy now, you don't see the way it is. Huh? Talk to me. If the only man depends and the man has no strong, now it's everybody will chop her. So the woman must contribute. She is hard working. When your husband invests money to your business or you both get money somewhere and invest, let that money last. I, you know, when I see women who know how to manage resources, work out out of nothing, I raise hand for them. Because there are some, if you give them, if their husband borrow one million, come, she, they know she will help her husband finish the money. And that's why there are some men today, they are not making it. The secret is not the man. The answer is that they marry bad woman. I've seen it. You are not talking. Real women, yes, fashion is good, but fashion not the finish. Tomorrow is bigger than today. Igele not the finish your market. Abola not the finish your market. Every year new design is coming. Don't eat your capital because of Igele. It is constant saving that makes you fruitful. Constant saving. I need to talk a little bit about this. Vitous woman. You, when they put money in your hand, is saved. Let me ask you as a woman, if your husband bring money, say, keep this money. After one year or after six months, can you still bring that money complete with that story? Give up. Now, do you know there are some men today who cannot give money to their wife to keep? Talk to me. But in the real marriage, when a man believes that this money is with me, uh, something will happen. He will give the wife, say, find somewhere. Keep this money. We want to use it for something. And real women will keep that money. Even when the man will come and say, okay, we don't want to use them for that house. May we use them. Hey, Christmas. Dog. The woman will tell you, say, I lie you. Maybe wait till you agree. I know they give you. I don't see her. You go tell the husband, now wait till we talk before. If you don't agree for that house, maybe they are planning to complete their house. And he say, keep it. And the Christmas goes, say, no, let's. He goes, say, I lie. Forget Christmas. That house. These are real women. They will help their husband to achieve. But there are some women, if their husband they build, they complain. Now, nah, sister has a build. Now, nah, sister has. As if he build house, you go there outside, you go there inside. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There was a woman I know some years ago in San Market when I used to say, she's a child of God. So one day she called me and said, Come and help me pray. The place where we are building. And she said, Mama put for Mama put, Mama, not be restaurant, Mama put. You know what I mean, Mama put on that song. You go bring plates, you go say, I give you. He said, When the husband was building down upon mission extension, and the man said, He now called me that they are saying, I should come and pray. He said, I want to take my husband by surprise. 
And I've told him he will come. He said, but before your presence, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. I said, what do you want to come to, sister? He said, I buy 40 bags of cement. I save money. I said, I said he said, he's no believer. Because he said, one day when they talk, he said, now this is what they do. He said, I've been saving the money. They give the cement to dealer. Now in one level of nation, he said, I told them tomorrow, they will come and carry the 40 bags on site. Though I couldn't meet up with that prayer. I later called the man. The woman, I said, how you go? He said, husband, he down for that grand, come they pray for her. He said, if I respect you small today, I respect you more. Let me still tell you, that man, that woman, there are some men, money, though they stay their hand. There are some women, money, though they stay their hand. And you know, if you are the woman who knows how to gather, and you marry a waster, it's a pain. Oh, I go talk to you, not true. If you are a man who knows how to manage and you marry a waster who believe in Koiko shoe, in a bola shoe, in a willa willa head. If you don't buy long hair for convention, her face go change like Gary carry water. Forget that cloth cannot finish. Tomorrow is bigger than today. Real men and women, they plan ahead of time. Your children, when they KG now, remember they will enter university. And if you know how the level of your income you save, oh, am I talking here? So, virtuous women, they are fruitful. She does good. Look at that verse 12. Verse 12 of that Proverbs 31. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. Number three, are you following me? She is, I mean, she works hard. Now, fruitful in production. Number three, works hard. That works hard is not just about the business now. She is not lazy at home. You get some mama now. If you see the way they dress like even at Con Church, follow the rich house. You go see we we of last week still they smell. Play the way they take chop since uh, August. They never see wash out. There are some people who enter their house, go seize your breed. May they no spoil what they inside your belly. Hunting come. I don't know whether you don't enter some before. If you see that for cheer in soak, you stand. You don't know what in the ground. When they see, they go to the water. Oh, this shit, they know. They move that plate. Hey, they, now, now you want to remove her. Lazy woman. If your husband talk, your face go change. Man, no, they do something for the village. You know, they help me. I go talk to you. I don't say your husband is happy at the talk. <laughs> they are up. In, they work hard. They they know when to wake up. Hey, my children. My, now you ask God for children. I give you. If you believe the children, they are not a blessing. Tell God to remove them. And which I know you will not pray that prayer. Is a bad prayer. For the blessing of the Lord, make it rich and add no sorrow. I'm telling you, there are some mama. If you go to their house, you see laziness at work. Laz Even see their children self. Go to children church. You go see some children there. By their appearance, you go know their mama. Some of them are one leg of shoe. Mama don't care. He go polish himself, finish. Come on, you see the children muck on their face. Holy Ghost, fire. I'm telling you the truth. At times when they walk on the street, you see some little children like this who are taking themselves to school. Where is their mother? If Papa no come out, Mama no fit do this work. I don't know whether they see some of them like this at the, the crossroad. If anything happens, go say devil, my enemy. Now you be the enemy where they worry yourself. Hey, my business, how much are you making? Take those children to school first. Prevention is better than kill. Work hard. Now let me tell you, one of the greatest problems we have some home, some women doesn't work hard. They will use time made for housework to talk, 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 watch movie. One, one day, one give the testimony in this house. He said, hey, now when they partake like around eight, eight o'clock, now I can't start the cook. When I come up, I say, eight o'clock. Now you want to cook dinner. You want to give the man poison. Eight o'clock. When we mate, don't chop finish. They prepare to, I'm telling you. 
Women, are we seeing? Work hard. When you see a woman that is up and down, when you see the children, you go, no. I don't know whether you have seen some of them. There are some children like this, when they pass me, I love to greet them. You go see mama hand for them. Even as small as they are. You go see, say, mama get time. So mama don't get time for children. If you grow for their house, now you train yourself. Go out to go to her like this. Mama, no, no. Yes, I say, you know, nobody has a life, be. When he sleep us, he said, no, mind that boy. Now, so he don't throw well. And he didn't know. I even saw mama, no, okay. I said, if you don't get sleep out, come, go, me, walk out, now they me, they go. And I saw so now, some of them, you they change their school bag. You they change their, some of them, their uniform said, don't see a rich top blouse. From shirt to blouse, you no care. Because you are a lazy mama. Your work in that house, cook, keep the house, take care of your children. That's your number one work. Then business can join. If you hear me say here. Yeah. If you make the whole money well there in Nigeria and your children become wayward, what is your game for tomorrow? I go talk a little bit, a half few minutes, I'm done. They work hard. Let me tell you, there are some men today, that is the quarrel they have in their home because their wife is not up and doing. When you go to their homes, you go to cry. I wish my wife can do my children like this. But the man, they bring the money. But the money have no value because nobody to use it well. The woman can only do her own makeup. as a thank God for party where they face. You go be like, say, you know some mama said, no get time to bath for her because they are too lazy. <laughs> hey. They'll say, wait till I can't come to here today. <laughs> Mama, don't talk her own part. Make her talk my own part. Number four, are you there? Now, let me give you the scripture for that working hard. Verse 13 to 15, that same proverb. Then read 19 and 22. Put it in that point three. Then point four, she is prudent and acquires property. I will explain. She is prudent and acquires. Now, what, do you know what it means? Is a woman where the chop will remain. No be chop, finish. I tell you, just like what I said before, there are women who don't believe in keeping the house. But real women, and there are some women today, go to their house. But I pray, you know, they this house, oh, now the woman, now I buy television, now I buy fridge, now I buy chair. No, I reject it in this house. Where is the man? But did they happen? She are where the house. Now woman struggle by. Television where they now mom you buy. He rogue spoil. Oh now mama. Oh God, where are your money day? Now, men, hear this. Let me still say if you are the one carrying the home, if you not get well done, you must get thank you. Maybe, for example, money is not more there in your hand. If your wife is the one fixing the area of finance, you can also do something. Show your present to the children. Because some men don't even get, they are not contributing in finance, they are not completing, com, 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 you know, adding to well done, no thank you. The little they get, now like this. They go go belt their or cut a belt, it will be belt. If they belt their leg, It's a very bad life. Men, women in this are pray for you. May you never marry coupon man. Yeah. You know they don't modernize coupon. But bet, I tell you now, coupon, now school, now you go from pool, coupon, to belt. Maybe before Jesus comes, now they go still advance it. But now coupon. <laughs> Praise God. Point what? She speaks with wisdom. Verse 26. Look at it. Verse 26. She speaks with wisdom. Proverbs 31 26. She opened her mouth with wisdom. And in her tongue is the law of what? You know, talk. The law of what? There are some mama they can curse. Even inside church, they are ready to use the job of their village. They curse you. Talk to me. I don't know what you are seeing. I saw something one day where. Mama verse 
for road. If they come church, you use the Bible. Not those Bible where they zip. Take them. Stop this. Because the only thing where they in hand, he say, oh, God, love. He hands God, love, not on the Bible. He take the Bible, turn it to local weapon. Praise God. Point what are we talking now? She speaks wisdom. She speaks wisdom. Point what now? Six. She has influence and is what? Accepted. She has influence and she is accepted. She has influence and she is accepted. She is praised by her children. Have you seen some mothers, their children, eh? If they narrate the story of their mama, you go hate their mama. Please, mothers, I pray for you. May it never happen to you. And mother, if you are the mother, hear your children narrate you. Check whether you are guilty. Because I've seen. You call some people say, My mama, I say, I don't get mama. He said, Pay me. Ask some questions, I go tell you the reason why. He said, My mama, get time. Thank God for my father, who they try. He said, My mama, no care. She is, she has influence and she's accepted. She is praised by her children. Verse 28 to 29. Proverbs 31, 28 to 29. Are you there? It remains one point. Let me read. Her children arise up and call her blessed. Her husband also and he praised her. Even the husband praised her. Then verse 7, she is relaxed and look confidence towards the future. She is not afraid. She is bold. In the midst of every challenge, she is putting on smile. She never panics. She fears no evil. Not that there is no trouble. Now let me tell you this. Mothers, if you are a mother who loves to narrate your matter, you are, you are killing yourself. Real women, they are challenged. They don't narrate it. At times you see them smiling, you go to say they are married, better pass your own. Knew why your own, now better pass. Talk to me. But they try to relax and see future in the means of the challenge. But the, the bad one, if you ask them, where your husband? Hey, hey, how your husband finish? He said, don't work out. He keep women for what? He keep women for what? My man, let me tell you, it doesn't solve problem. Rather, it will make the family grow worse. Am I, I'm talking, this is, am I talking now? You are a woman who do that. They, they just only ask, how oh, God? He's a big liver God. And now we are, even if you no no, it's fine. They don't call, you know, enter court. Save your strength. I remember some years ago, I did somewhere. We are a woman, they, they do like this. They ask and say, he said, no, I know one, that woman, I know one her greeting. You go greet her now, you go begin to narrate another thing. Talk to me. Do you know there are people like that? You only greet them, good morning, mama, so so person. Hey, my sister, he said, if you see what my husband do me today, you see what my children do me today, you see what that neighbor do me, if you see yesterday, you go tell and say, they come, a day in a hurry. Praise God. They are always relaxed because I know he holds my future. My life is what I live in just because silly. And please, if you are here today, take this few words home. Every good, you know, First Timothy 12, verse 6. Is it 6 or 7? It says, Who the Father love, he chastises. When the word comes towards your direction and it discovers, this are my fault. I set it and amend it. Please, organizing your wife doesn't make any difference. Rather, they will see you as a great man. I'm telling you, who does that thing help? Tell me. Which marriage? And if you're a woman who has that habit, sorry, you won't finish yourself. At the time, people begin to avoid you. People will, the problem is, of a truth, your husband is not doing well. Narrating him up and down does not make sense. Narrate, the Bible said, can your word in exchange anything? No. Why not allow God? Leave it for God. Don't worry yourself. They leave it for God. Don't cry anymore. Jesus is alive. Praise God. You can face tomorrow. He understands 
What you are passing through today, let him defend his name. Live it for God. Don't worry yourself. Live it for God. Don't cry anymore. Jesus is alive. Praise God. You confess tomorrow. He understand what you are passing through today. Let him defend his name. Now hear this. Whether as a man or as a woman, if you are the type who love to narrate your wife, watch it at the time. People will no longer love you. People will no longer respect you. Because they believe you talk too much. Now, let me say this in my conclusion. This is one of the teaching I made in one of the conventions years back. Maybe your husband is an unbeliever who never come to church and live any her life. Huh? Let me make an illustration. Destiny and the that pastor come. Women, listen. Watch. Look at my conclusion. Are you watching online? Watch this. Come. Let's assume that this man is a husband and this one is the wife. I mean, maybe I am the wife and this is another woman or a girl outside. Now, as a woman, somebody came, maybe as they go to church, now your husband is a child who doesn't go to church, live anyhow life, and you have a friend who believes that they see road for you. See road, he said that they see something, they tell you. And he tell you, say, hey, mama, so so person, come, 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 come. You go to church, he said, don't call your line, switch off. You know, see my miss call? <laughs> He said, now I make a call. He said, I see your husband for social junction. Nobody said they move up. I pass and see that gear that day. He sit down for a moto. I even greet a man. He says, I see her. How many women go here and keep quiet? I, I, he, look, at, he, I'm not telling you it's a good thing. Hear this. Don't fight, fight where you go fight and lose. Now, for example, now let's assume that you are not even in the church and the person calls you, where are you there? Hey, hey, come here, Waro, come. You don't know that church of your, come, come now, come see your husband. Run, run, take, chata, keke, come. And God's so kind. You chata, keke, come. See me, then we are still back and the girl, they, 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 they lack the gist. Sit down for front of the bottle. How many women go see through where I cross? You go see, you go throw away, I cross, raise your hand. Be sincere. You just pass her. Papa, God, so so person. You see her. Crock or not, be said they talk. Genuine information. And you go just pass. You go say, no, I go crazy for road now. I want to show you something. This one is a hard thing. I didn't pray that it's come, but I want to show you something. Hear this. If you say you want to go fight the lady, eh? no problem. But remember, say the lady when you want to fight, you don't know her own muscle. Because any lady when get in boldness, see the man we don't marry, fall and enter moto, go not say get within the play drum for her. <laughs> Hear me. You feel go fight them. Or maybe you get muscle past the woman. Because there are some men, women who get muscle more than man. Blow the woman like this. He can't die. I think you go happy. I don't kill him. Now me kill him. Abi? People will come to clap you. Hey, you now you kill him. You blow like this, he die. Eh? I think you go go free. Go sleep or house. Oh, you not know, go sleep or house? No, you go sleep or house now. They perform party. But let me shock you. Look at the way to treat such matter. Because if you go fight, what other lady enjoy you kill? Your husband go throw away eye. If you kill the lady, na case, you go go jail. So know where and where you do and where you succeed. The right way as a righteous woman. Even if you don't feel like greeting, but later, if you want to make him see you, go house. Pretend. Greet the sister where pass. When the man come house, cook for and wed. 
Begin to pretend like saying a honeymoon would do. The greatest way to deal with a man is his conscience. Because he got a way to make you talk with you see. And no one talk. Now you know if I see anything, I don't see. I tell you that night, you go to sleep, the man go to do night vigil. Because you don't know what in your mind. They break, you go give him water. Wait till one chop. Hey, how much care yesterday? Eh, you go to wait. Talk wait in your mind. You pretend. I tell you, that day you go quick come out. The woman, the man will give come out. You go go out, go tell people, say, my wife see me so yesterday. Oh. What did he do? He said, he don't do anything. If you see food, wait, go for me yesterday. They go ask, I say, even some of your friends will be like, I go say, you eat? They would like, say, no, eat. Oh. He never greet talk. He said, no. Because you are dealing with the man because they say silence is the best answer for a fool. Shall we rise? In we gimba we, how the gonye take again? Hebo alpha no mega, and in ile naja gimba. Let's hold your hands, say Lord, give me grace to build my home. Where I missed it, give me grace to repair it. Now, hope your Lord, thank you for your mercy, your power, and your deliverance. Miracle signs and wonder. Let this word be a fruit. And let this man to become a mantle of impartation. Every home going through pain, let there be laughter in that home. As you enter your house today, I see laughter. I see laughter. I see turn around. In the name of Jesus, you will not die young. Your children will make you proud. You will see your children's children. Whatever you don't have, between now and 12 months, if your amen is the loudest three times, I see you having them. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name.